So Google Vio 3 is in now N10, which means the video which were getting millions of views on social media. Now you can make using N10. For example, this Yeti vlog. Up guys to my next vlog. Now I'm showing you my little house. Yes. And this is my lovely. So as you can see how great of a video it is. We are going to make such kind of a video in today's video using this and and template. So if you want to use this template, you can go to my school community. Inside school community, you can go to my classroom section inside YouTube resources. Over there, you will see the video creation using VO3. Over there, I have written everything. All the information over here, the prompt which I'll be using to create the video and the template at the bottom. So for the people who don't know what is VO3, VO3 is the latest state of the art video generation model by Google. So till now, the model used to create only video. But VO3 can generate the video as well as the audio with it. So now let's get started by making the video. First stage is regarding the data input and trigger system over here. So for the video purpose, I kept the manual trigger over here. And from the Google Sheet, we'll be getting the idea around which we want to create the video. So if I execute this step, I'll get this idea which I want to create the video for. Okay. So once I have the idea, it's time for the prompt engineering, which will play a major role over here. Because VO3 require a prompt in certain sense to give us an amazing result out there. Okay, so for that, this Leonardo AI has created this amazing documentation over here using which they have given everything like how you should plan your prompt. There should be a scene description. There should be a visual style, camera movement and everything. So I have used the idea from this and created the system prompt over here. So don't worry, you will get this all this prompt information and everything from my school community over here. So now once we have the prompt, so to insert the prompt, we'll be requiring this AI agent. Inside this AI agent, we'll be defining the user message over here, which will have the user idea, which we have got from the Google Sheet and the system prompt, which you got from the school community. And now once we have that, we require a model which will generate the prompt, which will be passing to the VO3 model. So for that, I am using GPT 4.1 mini model over here. Okay. And one more thing we require is, is a structured output. To get this inside this AI agent, we need to toggle this and require specific output format over here. So once we have that, we require a structured output in the format where we have a key as a prompt and that key contain all the prompting information over here. Okay. So once once we have that, as you can see, we have got this amazing prompt over here. Okay. So once we have that, now it's time to generate the video. So the service which are using to generate this video model and to use the VO3, we're using a fail AI. So for people who don't know what is fail AI, it's a service which aggregate all the model. So for example, Zometer, what does Zometer do? It types with the restaurant and it aggregates all the restaurant information over there. So we can directly order in Zometer and it will get the food from the rest particular restaurant. In the same sense, file AI types with an, uh, different different models. And from using the file, we can use any kind of a different model out there. Okay. So in our case, we'll be using this VO3. So you can go to this link file.ai slash model. So for that, you need to do the sign up. And after once it is done, so you can come over here and, and click on VO3. Inside this, we will click on the API. And now we have all the API information over here. So as you can see, our first requirement is we require an API key. So to get the API key, you can go on top. You can click on the account icon, go to the account, and there you will see the API key. Now generate the API key and copy the API key. Now, once we have that, we'll come to the HTTP node over here and we require a post method. And this will be the URL where we, we are using the VO3 model. And now it's time to set up the API key. So for that, uh, I'll show you the send header and part over here. So for that, in the name, we need to write the authorization and then we need to write the key. And over here, we need to paste our API key what we had. Okay. And we won't be sending the header again and again, because as you can see, we will be using the same API key in the future node as well. So what we'll do, we'll uh, toggle off the send header. We'll click on the authentication. We'll click on generic credential type. We'll uh, click on the header auth. Now we need to create the new credential over here. We'll write the same thing authorization. Then we need to write the key and space, whatever our API key was. So I have already done this. I won't be doing it again. Okay. So you can do that and select that uh, header auth. And now inside our body part, we need to toggle the body. And now we need to select the raw part over here and content type will be application slash JSON in the body part. We need to pa pass the prompt, which are prompt we generated from our AI agent. Okay. So once we have that, we'll be getting this information. It says that its status is in queue. It means it is currently in process. So now we need to check is the video ready or not. So for that, we'll be requiring a get method and we'll be calling this request API, which give us the status. And in, in between, we need to pass the request ID, which we got from the earlier HTTP node. So once we have that, we'll be getting the status information over here. So now it is seeing completed because I have pinned it, but it will say in progress if the video is in progress. Okay. So for that, we need to have a if loop, which will check is the video completed or not. If it is completed, then we'll go ahead. If it is not completed, we'll wait for 30 seconds and, it will, and we'll then again execute the same API. So this process is called as pulling. So we check again and again until and unless the video is completed. So now once the video is generated, it's time to get the video URL. So for that, we'll call this get API where we have to pass this URL and then we need to pass the request ID, which we got from our uh, earlier node. 
Now, once we have that, we'll get this URL part over here. Okay. So once we have this URL part, we can go to the new tab and open this URL. I hope you like it here. As you can see, we have the video as well as the this audio. This is my favorite room to relax. And you can see the capability of this model. So this is the normal uh, prompt which I have given, but you can write the prompt in whichever sense you want and you can customize this thing. Okay. So now once we have this video generation, it's time to log this URL. So because if you don't save this URL, the video URL will be gone. So you can't see that URLs again in the file layer dashboard as well. So log this URL so that you can come again in the future and use that URL. So for that, I'm using Google Sheet. Okay. So inside the Google Sheet, you can see now I need to mark my status as completed because I was uh, picking up the item which were in the ready state. So I need to mark my status as completed and need to paste the URL. So for that, I'm using Google Sheet. I got all the credentials. Now I'm mapping my column manually and I'm mapping on my row number, which I'm getting from the Google Sheet earlier. Okay and marking status is completed and the video URL over you. And now once it is done, we'll have our video URL over you. Okay, so you can see whenever you want. Everything is amazing over here. Since VO3 is a very new model, the charges are very costly. So for this five second video, it charged around $3.75 over you. But the minimum requirement of VO3 model is eight seconds. So you can't create videos in five seconds. It only creates the video in eight seconds and it creates video only in the horizontal format and not in vertical format. So the aspect ratio will always be in the 16 is to nine. If you go to the API part, if you scroll down, you will see the aspect ratio is always 16 is to nine. The possible enum value is 16 is to nine. Duration is always eight second, not less than and not more than. If you want to create multiple video, you need to create a video again and again. And you can add the negative prompt, which thing you don't want. It will, by default, the enhanced prompt will be true. It means that the prompt which are giving, it will enhance uh, accordingly to the VO3 model. Then the seed is something you want to generate the video. You want to generate the same video again and again. Then generate audio, by default it is true. If you pass this as false, it will use 33% of less credit. So these are all the possible values. I have, I have only written prompt because all the default value I was using. That's the reason I only use the prompt over you. Okay. So now as you can see, this is a very early stage of VO3. So that's the reason it's a very costly, but as the day progress, you have seen in the past, things will get more cheaper and cheaper, more new models will come. So as the competition rise, the price will get down because there is no competition right now for the Google, which generates the video as well as the audio. So I hope you like the video. You'll get all the information in my school community. You can go and download over there. I would like you to join the, my community. You can engage with over there. You can ask me questions. You will find the like-minded people over there. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Stay watching. Press the like button, subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.